What's up? Welcome to Wooston Creek 2, I guess. So I had quite a few requests from people asking me to return to this particular scenario. But instead of doing a sort of cinematic video like my last one, they just want to see me play this. So I'm just going to play directly as the Germans. This is unedited footage of me playing. So it's a kind of gameplay commentary vid in that respect. So I'm going to obviously play as the Germans and this is how I suspect or how I how in the past I've defeated the Allied and Soviet forces. Obviously I'm outnumbered pretty much two to one but I've got superior German armour including the prototype E100 Tiger Mouse and the Mouse Super Heavy Tank. So this is how I usually do it. And this map's obviously already on my mod DB group. If you've played it already, you may have already won this particular scenario. So I usually go for the Allies first. So I send about a third of my force or two thirds out to take on the Allies. So I'm immediately on the move here. So I'm sending most of my heavy tanks forward the King Tigers, the Jag Tigers, the E100s. And what I what I aim to do here is basically just engage the allies before they even leave their spawn area, and this is usually what triggers the allies, uh, the AI even to react. And I don't have any triggers or anything set up on on these sort of scenarios. I just let the AI just react as it's programmed to do in the game itself. So here we go then. So I'm just rolling forward my tanks. At the moment, doesn't look like the allied force has responded. But that should soon change because I think some of my troops have engaged them. I think it looks like a hit there. So I'm just lining up my tanks. And this is key, really. You have to line up. You have to kind of create a kill box, as they say. So you've got to have multiple tanks ready to shoot as soon as the Allied Armour moves forward. So I can basically engage them with a sort of barrage coming from all angles. There we go. So that should trigger the AI scene. Now... As you can see from the map, I don't really have many tanks there yet, and they haven't really closed the distance. This is a couple of uh, minutes later. I was just trying to roll forward more armour. But what I've noticed, if you, you can probably tell from the map there, the Russians, the Soviet force, has randomly responded and decided to, to react. Even though I'm nowhere near their army, they've decided to move out so that's kind of throwing me slightly to be honest that doesn't usually happen but there we go the the full soviet force is on the move and it looks like they're attacking me head on there so i'm gonna have to respond to that so i'm gonna have to kind of back down on this allied flank and respond to this soviet attack so i'm gonna have to engage them so as you can see from the map i'm sending my units forward to try and meet them in the middle but i have still got this complement who were about to engage the allied position they didn't get particularly far but I'm still going to roll them forward because I haven't really got time now to return them back to my spawn so I'm going to use these tanks and I think there's a pretty formidable force there you've got tigers, king tigers looks like a couple of jag tigers so they can probably hold their ground in my opinion against the allied force so really the threat now is coming from the soviets because they've woken up so now it looks like the Allies have woken up, so that's slightly concerning. I've not really got close enough yet, I've not really closed the distance on them. So I've lost the element of surprise here. But it could be worse, I could be in a worse position. So I'm going to try and engage them. These Tigers are in a good firing line here. I'm going to just try and pick them off one by one. So I've got a kill there with the Tiger. couple of kills already by the looks of it. There we go. Nice long range kills. Using the advantage I've got which is the 88mm German cannons against those Shermans. So it looks like the combat's initiators here now. So I've got the E100 and the mouse up front here. They're slightly stacked up, they're a little bit too close. I'm going to try and pull back those Panthers. 
Got three Panthers there lined up. Taking out a Russian tank there. Now it looks like... Interesting. It looks like the Russians have flanked me on the left there. They're coming. They're kind of doing a pincer move. Coming from the right and the left. So I'm going to pull these tanks back. They're in a bit of a vulnerable position there. Ah, oh, shit. So most of those tanks are immobile now. It looks like that E100 is vulnerable. God damn it. The mouse is out. Panther's out. Ah, oh, that was a weird. That was a real waste of a some pretty formidable tanks there in my arsenal. So that E100 is still in the fight, but he's disabled. The mouse is out. Lost three Panthers, and the Russians are looking pretty formidable up there, I must say. So that's not good. So I'm going to about this E100. I'm going to micromanage this a bit. I'm going to just take, engage these tanks. Try and take out that T34, whatever it is. Boom, good night. Nice. Let's pick them off one by one. That's how I have to play it. So I've got these, these tanks up here with the experimental cannons. And the Allies are moving out. Now my tanks here are keeping the Allies hemmed in. They're keeping them back at their spawn. But I'm losing quite a few here by the looks of it. I've already lost a couple of Tigers. This is now it's this is now getting intense now. This is where the battles really started to kick into gear really. So I need to try and reinforce the German tanks on the left flank, try and reinforce this fight against the Allied position. But at the same time I don't want to push too many tanks to the left because then the Soviets are just going to overwhelm my right flank. And at the moment it's just e pretty much one E one hundred versus the entire Russian advance, which is not good. I'm kind of going to go on the defensive here on the right flank. There's no point attacking the Russians. I don't really have the numbers. I'm going to try and I'm going to continue as planned. I'm going to continue my push on the left flank. I think. Worst case scenario is the Russians chase me and then I engage them once I've taken out the Allies. So I'm rolling forward the Sturm Tigers here. Try and fire these shots into the Allied mass here. And as you can tell, that looks like beginning to look like a tank graveyard. So the Allies are getting pretty decimated by my by my Tigers which is good but their heavy tanks have only just started to roll out we've got the T29 there and the, the Turtle A39 Turtle there's a couple of lows I don't think have entered the fight yet so still pr pretty dangerous for me oh damn it I love those Tigers I should have flanked a little deeper on the left, I should have really probed them, gone real, really far back to the left there, didn't go back enough. Ah, uh, I've lost quite a few tanks here. I <sighs> ah, shit, okay. Looking pretty messy. The Sturm Tigers are starting to look pretty isolated now, I'm losing, losing more tanks than I've realised. So, <sighs> I mean, I've you know, I've caused a lot of damage on that side. The Allies are pretty much out of the game now by the looks of it. They've got a few tanks left. But the Russians are the Russians are looking strong. So this hasn't gone as smoothly as it as it has for me in the past when I've won, I must say. I'm just lining up a shot here with the Sturm Tiger, just micromanaging this. I just really want to get get a kill with one, you know, outright kill with this. There we go. Good to go. Almost ready to shoot. Very slow at reloading. There we go. It's a Churchill. Oh, I damaged it. I was hoping for an outright destruction there, but not quite. And I'm putting that Sturm Tiger back. Uh, the Allies are just rolling forward there. There's not really much left to contend against those Churchills. So the Churchills are going to probably creep in there. This E100 is still in the fight, he's holding the Russians back here. Another tango down. Uh oh, this is bad. IS3's rolling forwards. Two IS3's. Or an IS2 and an IS3. No, it's two IS3's. Now that's dangerous. An E100 was two IS3's. Let's see what happens here. Now the E100's out. Tracks disabled, I think. 
I'm trying to reload the main gun. The great thing about the E100 is it's got two cannons. It's got a, a powerful main cannon and a secondary. Nah, the crew's out. Wasn't really much of a fight there. The E100 was pretty much already out of the action there before those IS3s turned up. The crew's bailed. So I'm going to have to use these tanks here against the IS3s. I've got I've pretty much got nothing left now. I've got this. What's this? Uh, it could be worse. I've got a Jag Panther here. Apologies for the uh, pronouncements, by the way. I, I keep getting messages saying I pronounced Jag Tiger wrong. It's just a, a habit. I know I'm not, not saying it correctly. Anyway. Are we looking? The map is a mess. Ah, uh, you know, I don't think I've got the numbers left to win this, frankly. Hasn't really gone to plan. I'm going to just do my best with this remaining tank I've got. The Allies and Soviets are kind of mopping up now, because most of the other tanks I've got left are out of action, really. Crews have bailed. Or well, they tracks of damage for the main guns are destroyed so I can't really do anything. So let's just see if I can just ambush them with this tank. Just want to get a few kills at least. Ah, almost. Trying to get the IS-3 there. Took out the main gun. Try and get this KV. Side shot. Boom, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, how it's done. Get the IS-3. Not quite. Ah, nice. Outright destruction there. Damn it. Okay. Well, didn't last long, but that tank crew had a few victories there. What's going on here? Sturm Tigers. They're just trying to take out the Sturm Tiger. It's always a challenge, but they eventually get there in the end. And the turtle there's opening up on me. I've got a tank here, I didn't know that. He's in a bad spot there, he's completely surrounded. I can't really do much, I don't think. Maybe I can try and engage this this Russian KV-1. Whatever it is, IS-1 perhaps. No. Ugh, no. Messy. Looks like the crew's dead, I can't move the tank anymore. No, I've lost. I can't can't come back from this, I'm afraid. So, I'm going to have another go. Why not? Made a few mistakes there. But the mistake I made was I didn't move my uh, Russian German tanks f far enough to the left flank. But just before I do that, this is a couple of minutes later, I've decided to randomly spawn a second E100 and a mouse because it's just what I do. I'm just going to try and be a hero here, micromanage these two tanks and see if I can take out all of the remaining Allied and Soviet armour with just these two remaining tanks. I suspect I won't quite manage but you never know. It's going to cause as much damage as possible. It's a bit messy there. Didn't Got the crews. Didn't they didn't all get in the tank, but I'm trying to do this as fast as possible, so if they can't catch up, then they're of no use to me. So, what I will say, in my experience of playing this with these prototype units, I think the E100 is a much more effective unit. The mouse is slow, cumbersome, very slow turret speed, at turning speed. It's just a bit of a moving target in my opinion. The E100 is still a beastly tank, it's huge in comparison to any other allied or soviet tank. But it's much more fast, much more nimble and it's got two main guns which is key in my opinion. Very powerful, very you know effective tank. So here we go, I'm just trying to engage some of these tanks. Uh, Gotta be careful, I don't want to overreach. 
just wanna I just wanna probe them and pull back. In and out as I say. There we go. Oh there's a lonely IST there. Crew are looking pretty satisfied with themselves. I think the battle's over, but nope. I've just crept in and I'm gonna fuck them up. Come on. Oh there we go, that's the second main gun. Didn't penetrate the armor. First main gun did penetrate the armor. Oh, no, deflection. You're not going to touch me, son. It's an E100, you're not going to do shit. Boom, good night. E100 there just obliterated the IST. No competition, really. What's this? Another IS-2 has crept in. The males have screwed that up. That's so cumbersome to use. And he's flanked. He's flanked the mouse. So the E-100s are vulnerable now because that IS-2 is going to try and get a rear shot. I'm, you know what? I can't be bothered with using the mouse. It's too slow. I'm just going to use the E-100 here. Pulling him back. But his buddies, it's Russian tanks buddies are coming in here. This is not good. Oh, messy. Just trying to rotate the tank here. My, the rear's facing the enemy tanks is not good. Lots of Allied infantry are moving in. Move, go, 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 that's it. Just got to be patient. It's all about patience, tank combat in this game. You can't fire until you, you've got a shot. Now you missed. Almost lined it up. He's moving. Main gun ready. Boom. Main gun damaged. Ugh, damn it. He's still in the fight. Look at that size difference. E100, such a beast of a tank. Look at this. Come on. Yes. Move straight into my, my line of sh sight there. So the E100's on the move. The mouse is out of the action, but out of the game by the, by the looks of it. Crews out, bails. Oh come on! Oh, this is this is intense. I'm up against about ten or ten or more Allied tanks, Soviet tanks. Come on, pull back, line it up. I can I can do this. Take out the IS2. The easy stuff. Ah, come on, surely. What? Boom. Yes, dealt with. So I just got to turn that turret. I don't care about these infantry. They can't do shit against me. They're just getting in the way. They're not a threat. I just need to engage these tanks. And this is looking good because they're all coming from the same angle. My armor's pretty tough. I can probably handle most of their shots. Oh, the mouse is gone. Come on, IS3 is rolling in. What else have we got? Some medium tanks. IS3 is the main threat, I need to engage that. This is the tank destroyer there, an SU. I'm just making a meal of these bitches. Come on. Ah, that's dangerous. Okay, it looks like in the distance there, just beyond that black smoke, there's a turtle, an A39 turtle. So that's my main main threat, I think. The IS3's out. I've taken him down. Just got to take out this turtle. Oh shit, there's a cro Churchill as well. Can't underestimate the Churchill. But it, that, that turtle, he's flanking me on the right there. You can just see through the smoke. I'm holding my ground pretty well here. Just gotta hit that turtle. Lining up the shot. My crew's injured. Come on, line it up. Whenever they're injured, I can't shoot. Just gotta be patient. Track damage. That's not... God damn it. Oh, my shot's affected off the turtle there. I'm out. It's... My crew's dead. Shit, okay. Well, the, the E100 did good. He held his ground for a long time there, engaged about three, three or more tanks. But they crept up on him. That turtle was just too tough, the frontal armour. 
and at the end of the day I was bound to lose because there's still reinforcements coming in there. So by the looks of the map, I almost almost nailed it, but just not quite. So I'm gonna have a second go and I'm gonna I've learnt from my mistakes and this time I'm just gonna launch all of my German tanks across the left side of the map, Blitzkrieg style, move further to the left flank, further deeper in, wipe out the Allies and then focus entirely on the Soviet position. That's how it's done. The danger is I'm gonna get flanked by the Soviets early on like it happened in that last game. So here we go. Uh, launch the battle again and move out. My frame rate can be a little choppy on this map even though I've recently upgraded to an insanely spec rig and if you want to know what it is just look at my channel bio. But this map is just mental, the, the amount of units I've deployed. It's just uh, just causes aggro really with the CPU. Anyway, it's still playable. Here we go. So this is how I should do it. Just move out all all of the tanks at once. To highlight them all. I may leave a few behind, but none of the heavy ones. So my units are on the move. This is key. I need to get all my guns out there in the fight. There's no point in sending small pockets of tanks out. Here we go. Opening of fire, I'm much closer, but my tanks are still moving in. But they'll be they'll catch up soon, so that's fine. Just skipping ahead slightly there. The allied, the allied force has woken up, but my numbers are there ready to engage them as they as they move out of their spawn area. And as you can see, I'm already opening fire on them, doing some serious damage before they've even left, left the airport. So a lot of my lighter tanks there took the brunt of that retaliation but I'm not too concerned about those they're just Jag Panthers my heavy tanks are pretty safe really oh that wasn't good the Allies have responded with some artillery so I've got an E100 out on the right there by himself in the tree line going to use him to try and take out some of these tanks. There we go. He's in a good position there. So two main guns, which is handy. Cool. Got a hit, got a kill there by the looks of it. So I'm just decimating the allies here. This is exactly how I wanted it to play out last time. This is this is excellent. And as you can see the Soviets have woken up by the looks of it. I can just see on the map there they're moving forward. 
So I need to re react to that by getting a whole bunch of my tanks to face their advance head on and try and engage them so we'll be ready for them. So Sturm Tiger's moving in. I'm just sending a few tanks out to that extreme left flank to just try and mop up the allied tanks there. So they're going to just try and flank them. But the allies are essentially done. They're out of the game by the looks of it. I mean, I've wiped them out really. So that's ideal. Sending more more units forward. So that's how how it's done. Paid out exactly as I wanted it to pay out. And as you can see, I'm just rolling, rotating these tanks so they're going to face the the Russian advance head on. That's key, really. If I don't do that, they're just going to get taken out from the side. And there we go. It's an allied graveyard up the road. They're still engaging me though, there's still obviously still a few tanks in that in that mess. But I'm free to move in there and just mop them up really. My E100's damaged. He's still in the fight though, which is fine. Here come the Russians. Look at that dealt with all the, pretty much every allied tank there is out of the game really or well, they're disabled so they're not really a threat and I'm now free to do a one-on-one -on -one against the Soviets and I'm confident I can win that so this is this is fine ah no not sure what happened there aha yeah whoops Unfortunately, I've suffered from a graphical glitch, as you can see. This happens now and again on this particular map. I think the CPU just works so hard that eventually it, something goes crazily wrong. And I can no longer view any of the units. Although I can still play the game, I don't see any units, which is quite an interesting, uh, interesting view. And it's quite a bizarre way to play Men of War. It's almost like a telekinesis version of Men of War, where you have to predict where all your units are. So, I'm not going to stop because I want to win this, and I can win by using the map, because that's how hardcore I am. So, revert your gaze to the map in the left hand of the screen there. So, as you can tell, I've taken out the Allies. All those yellow triangles are destroyed Allied tanks. I've lost a fair few myself, but the vast majority of my force is still in the fight, all my heavy units. And I've already started to seriously d damage the Soviet force there, who've, who've obviously got pretty close to me. And that's because I turned all my tanks to face them head on. So I was ready for them. So I'm just going to attempt to play this without being able to see any of my units, which is quite an interesting challenge. I'm sure this is quite a common bug or graphical glitch of the game. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I've only ever seen it on this map though and I think it's just because I've gone crazy with the amount of units I've deployed. It could also be a bit of a bug with the, the mod I've downloaded but the, in terms of the, the models it renders the war realism mod. <coughs> but not to worry. <coughs> so as you can see there The, the Soviet force is already pretty much out of the, out of action really I've taken out a whole swathe of their tanks and they're no longer moving forward they're no longer attacking they've just halted I've stopped them in their tracks so I in my opinion I've now won the battle but there may be doubters out there there may be haters and haters are gonna hate it's as simple as that. So I'm going to prove to you that I won this battle. So I'm going to keep playing using this map view. So I can just about, just about kind of work out how to highlight tanks based on the map there. So I'm moving them forward, and I'm just generally just giving them some general orders, just moving them forward closer to the Soviet units. I think that's really all I need to do.
So they're creeping in there, just gaining ground. I'll just take a few more out, just to prove that I'm in control. And there's that red triangle right in the center there. I'll try and finish him off. Small tanks being destroyed slowly there, which is good. That sounds like one of the experimental prototype tanks there firing the cannon out there. Awesome stuff. Still not taking out that one in the centre though, but I'm sure it will happen eventually. Sometimes this graphical glitch recovers. But rarely. Usually I have to just restart Man of War. But like I say, it only happens when I play this particular map. I suspect some of you have seen the, the bug if you've downloaded this this mission. There we go. Now I, I'd, I'd say it's indisputable now that I've won but I'm still gonna play on because there may still be doubters out there now look at this come on imagine the tanks in your mind you can see them yeah it's kind of freaky really you can see the tracks where they're moving you can see the the uh, tank tracks on the desert canopy there You can just about tell where they are. That tank in the middle is still holding his ground. No, he's not. He's out of the game, finally. So that's, that's a relief. So I'm just skipping ahead slightly because that was getting pretty dull, I would admit. But look at that. This is about three or four minutes later. There it is. Undeniable, undisputable evidence that I have won the battle. The Russian tanks are finished. And I've won. So there you go. That's how you win.